Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing really, really well and I hope you had a lovely Valentine's Day, whatever you did. So I really enjoyed filming last week's haul, so I thought I'd bring you another one, but this time I thought I'd bring to you Pretty Little Thing. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I have quite a lot of stuff in these bags and I also have a shoebox so we have quite a bit to get through it's not on anything in particular so it's not like lounger in particular or night out or anything like that it's just a general shop of the website but there's so much stuff in here i am sure that there's something in here for you guys because there is so much stuff to get through i'm just gonna get straight on into the video all right so i've just organized everything and i think i'm kind of gonna do this haul so i go from like the dressier sort of items first and then head towards more the loungewear and then into pajamas so first things first is actually this dress that I have on and another one which is in a different colour which is this one here so it is literally just this bodycon midi dress and it is ribbed all the way down it like I've said I've got two different colours now funny story I actually bought this one thinking that I'd ordered this one but I hadn't it was my own fault so and another one which is in a different colour which is this one here so it is literally just this bodycon midi dress and it is ribbed all the way down it like I've said I've got two different colours now funny story I actually bought this one thinking that I'd ordered this one but I hadn't it was my own fault so yeah I personally thought that this one was a little bit too close to my skin tone but I'll show you both anyway so you can see what it's like on and these are long sleeved all the way down again ribbed all the way down just really really nice a nice extra touch just to make it look a little bit more expensive than it actually is I will make sure as well to put the price and the size of everything on the screen most of this stuff is either going to be a size 10 or a size 8 but I'll put everything on the screen just to make sure yeah I'm not gonna lie to you this is a bit of a tight dress to fit into but it is a really really nice one so let's try it on and you guys can see how it looks all right my love so this is the first dress now i must admit i am kind of in love with this dress i wasn't really sure when i first bought it because it's the exact same color as my old school uniform so i was like mm, does it remind me a bit too much of being in school but actually i just really really love this color on everyone at the moment i just think this dress is so nice especially during that like transition transition especially during that transition between like winter and spring i think this is a perfect little outfit for it and to be honest this dress kind of does what it says on the tin it's ribbed all the way down it is a bodycon dress it is quite cute and flattering don't mind my little tum at the moment i've literally just had a burger from a burger van but it was really it was worth it but you know it, it kind of um shows all your lumps and bumps in this dress so yeah just as a warning <laughs> i'd also recommend that in this dress you wear like seamless underwear because otherwise i think you'd probably be able to see it through this dress or just because you know it's so bodycon fit and you would probably be able to see the lines in it i'll hand you down real quick just so you can see just how long it is on me let's just ignore the messy drawers and stuff here but this is how long it is on me so it literally just comes below the knees uh yeah which i think is just really pla uh, plattering I've obviously got food on my mind. Um, flattering is what I meant to say. Yeah, I think it's really flattering. It makes you look quite sophisticated and got your life together, even though I obviously don't because I'm in lockdown and well, everyone else is, but you know, we, none of us have our lives together, but that's okay. This dress makes it look like you do. So yeah, I think this dress is really, really flattering and I'll pop on the next dress just so you can see the color comparison. So this is the dress in the lighter color. Again, exact same length and all. It's the exact same material, etc., etc. It's just obviously a lighter color. I will say to you though, that I think because this is a lighter color, it kind of is a little bit more see-through. Like if you bend over, you can definitely see your underwear. So. Just make sure you wear nude underwear with this one. I mean, I like the dress. I just personally prefer the colour on the other dress. So I'm going to give the other dress like a 9 out of 10. And I'd probably give this one maybe like a 7. Just for the fact that it's a little bit more see-through and not really my colour. So the next item I've picked up is a pair of blue mid-wash skinny jeans. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. I got these in a size 10 and they're slightly too big for me. I thought that they were the right size when I first tried them on. And after a couple of wears, I've kind of realised that actually I probably should have gone a size down. But because I've worn them so much that is why they're a little bit creased all the way down them so i do apologize but it won't be so creased when i try them on to be honest there's not really a huge amount to say about these jeans they're high-waisted i love myself a high-waisted jean and yeah literally they're just skinny jeans all the way to the bottom there's nothing fancy on the bottom of these at all literally just some plain mid-wash blue jeans but quite honestly um i've only got one other pair of blue jeans so i i just went for the basic and this is what i i came out with and they are really nice they're really comfortable but on the bright side since they've got these uh belt loops on them at least i can actually put a belt with them so i can still wear these jeans and it's not too obvious to anyone else that they don't fit me right so 
<laughs> these jeans don't have pockets on the front but they do on the back so you can use them and put your phone in them or keys or whatever you feel like but yeah there's not much more to really say about them they're just some high-waisted mid-wash blue jeans so to go with those jeans I've picked up this really nice like marble effect bodysuit now I'm kind of obviously liking the nude browns cream sort of vibe at the moment but I'm here for it I'm I'm quite liking that trend I just think it looks really nice on any skin tones so I've gone for this simple marble bodysuit it is a thong bodysuit so so just to warn you I mean I prefer that because then it's less likely that you're going to see the seams when you're wearing jeans but it's not everyone's preference so I just thought I'd let you know this is a scoop neck as well so I feel like it's going to be really really flattering and I'm not going to lie to you the material is so different to how I thought it was going to be it's actually quite like silky and smooth I haven't tried this one yet so I'm actually quite excited for this all right my lovely so this is the next outfit what do you think I I don't think I'll actually pair these together again in the future. I think these jeans are maybe a little bit too vibrant of a colour for this bodysuit. But let's just dissect it piece by piece. Now let's start off with the jeans just because I need to get a belt on these things. I definitely, definitely should have sized down in these jeans. They're actually kind of like riding down. Like you know when you can feel it in the crotch area going a lot lower so you actually have a bit more of a restriction. Yeah, I can feel that when I don't wear a belt with these jeans. But... Other than that, that's my fault, that's not the jeans fault. Other than that, I really love these jeans. They're really, really comfortable. They've got belt loops, which means I can wear a belt with these, which is perfect. I really hate when jeans don't have that. And I love how high-waisted they are. Like, they literally sit on my belly button, which is exactly where I personally prefer them. However, I am going to pop a belt on with this now because I can I can feel them riding down just talking to you guys like this. One thing I will say about these jeans, though, is that they're actually really, really soft on the inside, so they're really comfortable. Like, I don't know about you um, or if you drive, but... When I drive in skinny jeans, like sometimes I find it so uncomfortable, like on my stomach area, because they're like, they're just so tight. But these are just so comfortable and soft that they don't do that. They're actually really comfy to walk in during the day. Like it doesn't really feel like you're wearing jeans. Do you know what I mean? Let's move on to the top. I'm not going to lie. I, I love the pattern on this top. Like I said, I wouldn't pair it with these jeans, but I really, I really like it. It's kind of that silky material it's really really soft one thing that i will say though is that these straps aren't adjustable which is a little bit of a shame because i feel like you can see it now actually that it keeps like coming down below my bra so i kind of have to keep lifting it up which is really really irritating another thing i will tell you is that the clasp on this bodysuit isn't really the most comfortable like it's quite plasticky um but if you're like me, I, I kind of get used to it with time, so it doesn't really bother me eventually. Like, I can't feel it anymore, but I could for, like, the first couple of minutes of having this on. However, the pattern is really, really nice on it. Really, really different, actually. I love the colours on it, and it is really, really soft. So I'd probably give this bodysuit, like, a like an 8 out of 10. And these jeans, again, I'd probably give an 8 out of 10, but that's purely because they don't fit me right. And that's not really... That's not really a pretty little thing's fault. That's my fault, so... All right, I'll give these jeans a 9 out of 10 and the top an 8 out of 10. So the next item, I'm not going to lie, is honestly, I would say my absolute favourite purchase I've ever made. And that is this white cream corset type bardo top. I love it. I bought this just before Christmas and it's still on stock in the website. So in the website, on the website. So that's why I thought I would chuck this in here. Obviously at the front it is this corset style. It does kind of have that square neckline which I think is so so flattering on anyone. It's off the shoulder as well which I absolutely love. If you know me well you know I love a bardo. So yeah this is very much a bit of me. And at the bottom of it it does have that kind of detail that goes down like this i don't know what you'd call it it gives that illusion of a really slim waistline and actually this corset although it has the boning all the way down it it's still really really comfy so i i could not recommend this top enough i just hope you guys love this top as much as i do so this top by far is the absolute best thing i have ever bought from pretty little thing it is so pretty so soft so comfortable despite the fact that it has you know boning all the way down it this is a really comfortable top like i could eat quite a bit in this like i actually have a relative decent amount of room in this top which i think is perfect and yet it is so flattering like i really really like that little detail that it has at the front here and it does kind of go up a little bit on the sides you'll be able to see it goes back down again on the back you can see my tag a little bit so maybe it's a little bit more see-through at the back however at the front it's absolutely fine like i don't have a bra on and you can't see absolutely anything and if you know me well you know i love a bardo top and that is exactly what this is i absolutely 
love it. The fact that these sleeves are mesh and like massive balloon sleeves make it so comfortable. And the fact that you have this little what do you call this um like cuff sleeve here i think is even better because it means that you know it's not slipping and sliding everywhere it's pretty perfect the neckline is really really flattering like i said it's so much more comfortable than you'd expect this top to be i i just i just love this top hello so future nicole coming in here so past nicole didn't actually realize that her camera well her phone uh cut out while she was trying this top on so she didn't actually rate it at the end of the video i don't know why i'm saying she as if it's a different person it's me um but i would definitely give this top a 10 out of 10 and i would recommend it to anyone so next i have picked up a pair of boots now i know maybe not everyone right now is going to be wearing boots but i thought it would be such a nice thing to wear when you can finally go out to a pub and have like girls drinks or something wear a nice top and some jeans and these boots because they are oh they're just so pretty and that is these boots here like i'm sorry can we just take a moment for how pretty these boots are how pretty so these are sock boots so you don't have to worry about them falling down or anything they are quite tight here however uh, they're really really soft so it's not like it's uncomfortable or anything like that they are pointed at the toe which i think is really really pretty it does have a really thin heel but i don't mind that and i don't have any nude boots in my closet closet who do i think i am wardrobe and I just feel like these can go with literally anything. So these are what the boots look like on. Uh, I haven't really styled the jeans in the best way. So you can see like a little bit of a bulge on the side. But you kind of get the gist. This is what they look like. They're really, really pretty. Now I'm not going to lie to you. These aren't the most comfortable boots. And they're probably not the most practical. If you're going to go on streets that have got like cobbles down them. Like it would probably be a little bit hard to walk. Because of how thin this heel is. However, these are so, so pretty. Like yeah i just i just really really love them like this with a nice skirt or something or even with jeans and just tucked in a bit of a nicer way than how i've managed to do it i think would be really really lovely so yeah based out of prettiness i would give these like a 10 out of 10 but including the practical side of them i would probably give these like a six or a seven to be brutally honest with you next i'm going to show you another dress now this is pretty much the same as this one here however it is sleeveless this time um and i've actually gone for this in like this charcoal grey colour. I think you can wear this dress literally on any day. Uh, I will say to you though that this is kind of a different material to what I'm wearing now. The one that I'm wearing now is a lot tighter whereas this is actually really really comfortable. It is the same length so again it is a midi length but I just really really liked this. I actually bought it originally for my birthday which is tomorrow but I feel like for you guys it probably is already gone. You can wear this dress when you're bloated and you'll still feel comfortable. So yeah, I just really, really like this dress and let's try it on so you guys can see what it looks like. So I am obviously loving the midi type dresses at the moment, but I I love this one. I think this is a really, really nice colour and I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot more of a comfortable dress than the other ones. The length on this dress is the exact same as the other ones, so literally just below the knee. Like I said when I was holding the item up, it is ribbed all the way down. I'll just come a little bit closer so you can see the detail a little bit more. Because of the colour of this one as well, it's obviously not see-through like at all, so extra bonus points for that and i quite like the fact that it has no sleeves on this one i think it really i don't know i just think it's a really flattering shape up top and obviously it's bodycon all the way down again i just think this is a really really nice dress this one is a 10 out of 10 for me so next we're going to head into loungewear and i'm going to start off by showing you this pink oversized jumper now if you watch my poly haul you'll see that i was actually wearing that in this haul um in this haul in that haul i was wearing this in that haul that's what i was meant to say yeah, English words. Mm. So I picked this up in a size medium because quite honestly, um, sometimes with oversized tops, they don't actually come out all that oversized. So I thought I'd pick up the medium in this pink one just to make sure it really was oversized. I don't, I, I do, I do have this in another color. I picked this up in white as well. However, I picked that up in a small, but I'll show you that later on in this video. But I'm not gonna lie to you. This is the comfiest thing. It's got that really nice, like soft new jumper material. And I'm not gonna lie to you. My housemate would vouch for this, that I have literally worn this every single day since I bought it. It is the comfiest thing 
I could live in this and be happy. So this is the pink jumper on it. Now, obviously I haven't done anything with this. I've literally just untucked it and had it as baggy as it is, just so you can kind of see the full size of this and a medium. But this is the comfiest jumper. It is so comfortable. It's got that really nice, soft inner jumper, new jumper feeling. And I love it, I'm really here for it. Obviously you can, you know, you can tuck this into jeans if you want to. Some people like to tuck it in to their bra as well, which, you know, can be really flattering. But personally with this one, because I bought a medium in this, I'd probably have this quite oversized and baggy and just with like a pair of black leggings or something, like a really comfy outfit. But the sleeves, you know, are actually really, really long. Like they go over my hands if I actually have them how they should be. Um, but I quite like that because it means that this bit is really, really comfy and baggy. And I love the color on this one as well it just adds a bit of brightness into my wardrobe it's just really really nice really comfy so this 100% is a 10 out of 10 from me so next on the theme of loungewear I went for these cream joggers now I watched someone on YouTube the other day I think it was Georgia May actually and she said in it that during this lockdown period if you were going to purchase anything it should be loungewear and then I realized I literally live in my grey joggers yeah I haven't bought myself much loungewear stuff at all during this period i'm like why not that's the stuff that i'm going to be wearing more so basically she sparked me on to purchase these joggers which is actually kind of where this whole haul started out was to buy these joggers and then about 200 pound later i Let, let's just not even go there let's not even go there let's just pretend it's because it's my birthday soon and i'm treating myself it's fine it's fine now i haven't tried these on yet because i have been saving it for this video and i'm i'm not gonna lie i'm so excited to try these on these feel so oh they feel so soft on the inside they feel like that last jumper did so i'm I'm fully excited to put these on. But I thought these joggers would kind of be better joggers to wear outside the house as well. They do have normal pockets in the side like this, but they also have, is it just one or is it two? No, just one. Oh, hang on. Hang on, wow. All right, so one side, <laughs> you can tell that i haven't tried these on yet so one side has one pocket and the other side actually has two pockets down it now you can put your phone or you know your keys or anything in here i probably won't put anything in there i just think it makes it look a little bit more of an acceptable jogger to wear outside they are cuffed at the bottom as well so on these really cold days when it's windy you're not gonna have to worry about it getting cold up in your trousers or anything like that these joggers don't have like a tie or anything like that but they're so elasticated that i honestly think that you could be a size up or a size down in these and they'll still fit okay so to pair with those joggers i've literally just bought this plain square neck like mauve is this mauve what would you call this top crop top which is really really simple there's not really much to it it's relatively thin but i just thought it would go really really nicely with those cream joggers and like i said before i'm really loving that square neckline at the moment so i thought it would be really flattering still i have briefly tried this on already and i probably should have gone a size down in them because actually you'll probably see when i try it on that like these straps are actually a little bit loose for me, but you know, I'm just gonna be lounging around the house in this, so it's really not that big a deal. Just thought I'd say, because it's so, it's such a thin material and it's quite stretchy, I'd probably actually size down with this one. Let's try that outfit on together and see how it looks. Well, I know what I'm gonna be living in for the rest of this lockdown, it's these joggers. Damn! So this is the next outfit. Now, as you can probably tell, I, I love, these joggers. They're really, really baggy actually, really oversized and comfortable. I probably could have sized down in these, but I don't mind with joggers, like it doesn't really bother me. Um, like I said, the elastic on this is so stretchy that you'd probably be able to get into these whether you're a size down or a size up anyway. And then the fact that it has pockets on the side of these joggers, you could probably get away with wearing them outside a little bit more. And I think the colour on them as well is really, really cute. And honestly, the bottom of these joggers kind of balloon a little bit because of how oversized they are. But I love that. I think that's so, it's so cool. They're really, really comfy. I can't get over how comfy these are. At the top, like I said, I'm pretty sure I said in the whole up clip section that the straps on these are actually a little bit loose which you can probably like see like yeah they are just a little bit loose so I could have sized down in this as well however the color is actually really really nice I kind of could wear this with a pair of jeans or anything I just thought I would pair this with the outfit because I don't know it just looks kind of nice together but yeah I, I really really like this I love the square neckline on this top as well again I I really like the top it's just the fact that I bought it in the wrong size which is my fault because 
I don't know, I feel like I've kind of gone up a size. I used to be a size 8. I felt like I went up a size to a size 10 for a while. Uh, which is why I bought most of this in a 10. But maybe maybe I should have sized down. But it is quite a stretchy top, so maybe that's why. I really like this outfit together. This was like an oversized denim jacket or something. Nice, you know, white bag or something. I just think it would be really, really cute. I, I love this. I love both of these items. Just because of the straps situation with this top, I'm probably going to give it like a 7 out of 10 because I like the colour, I really like the neckline, it's just the strap situation because they're really, they're really, really loose, like, yeah, they're just, they're just very loose. But to be honest, I'd probably just wear it in the house anyway, but yeah, I'd probably give this like a 6 or a 7 for the top. And the bottoms, I love quite a lot, so these are getting a massive... 10 out of 10 from me so these next little clothes are actually all probably going to go together so i'll show you different versions of this outfit all of this i actually had in mind for my birthday tomorrow so i bought quite a few different items just to see how i preferred to style it together and you know it gives you guys some options as well so first of all i'm going to start off with this nude beige tennis skirt now this is cord material all the way down so actually although it's winter at the moment and quite cold this material actually makes it really really comfy obviously i would wear tights with this but yeah it's actually quite warm i bought this in a size eight because i wanted to just make sure that it did actually you know um cinch my waist in in the way that i'd want it to because i feel like actually trying it on a size 10 probably would have been too big for me it does have a zip in the back but it's nude so you can't really see it it kind of blends in all together this is just a really really cute skirt so i'll show you all of the different top halves that i've bought to go with this skirt. So the website actually inspired me to buy this next top and it's purely because I saw this style top with another skater skirt and I thought it looked really really cute and that is just this plain racer neck white vest. There's not really much to say about it, it's ribbed all the way down, it's got that racer neck uh, shape to it. I haven't tried this on yet but I'm a little bit worried that it may be see-through hence why I actually bought a load of different tops just in case and to pair with that I've actually bought this triple gold chain necklace which i don't normally wear anything like this but again i saw it on the model and i just thought it made a really really cute outfit i'm not gonna lie to you this necklace looks absolutely tiny so i'm not really sure i'm actually gonna be able to get it on and this necklace does only come in one size so we'll see when i try it on but it just looks really tiny is that just me like like this could be a bracelet all right maybe not maybe i'd have to double it over i can't even double it over so I don't know we'll see when we try it on all right my love so this was birthday outfit choice number one however as you can probably imagine i didn't actually go for this outfit because this top is so see-through like i am wearing a white bra and you can literally see the outline so clear with this top so yeah we're not really gonna go there it's quite obvious that i'm not a fan of this top like it's a shame because it's a really, I do like this neckline and everything. I think it's really pretty. Could have gone really well with this skirt, especially since like, I really like how cropped this is. Like it's at the perfect kind of length for me personally with crop tops. I really, really like it. It's just a shame about the fact that it is so see-through, but because it's so see-through, I'm gonna have to give this like a two out of 10 because yeah, we're just, we're just gonna ignore that. We're gonna brush past that. This necklace did actually end up having quite a few chains to kind of loop onto at the back. So you can adjust it to different lengths, which was actually ideal. I just didn't realize that to begin with. So yeah, I did get this on eventually, but it is actually quite close to the neck. I did put this on one of like the furthest uh, loops. So it's actually one of the loosest that this necklace could be. So this is what it would look like if you did decide to buy it. I do kind of like it with this outfit. So yeah, I do actually kind of like this necklace. And my favourite thing about this outfit is this skirt. And I did go for wearing this skirt on my birthday. It's actually been a couple of days since my birthday now. Um, yeah, I did go for this skirt because it is, it's so comfy. It's a really, really nice colour, really basic thing to have in your wardrobe, but actually really, really cute. I just feel like you can really dress this skirt up or dress it down and do whatever you want with it like you could go for a nice couple of drinks out for cocktails and stuff obviously when we can do that again or you know you could just stick on a sweatshirt and lounge around in the house in it it's not too short either on the back so you could bend over and get things and you'll be okay 
I just love the fact that it's a cord material. It just makes it really soft and comfy. Yeah, I just thought this is a really, really girly little outfit. Again, minus the top. We're not going to go there with the top. So for me, the skirt actually was a 10 out of 10. I love it and I will be keeping it for years to come, I imagine. So top option number two is actually this cream slash white bodysuit. Now... This was a bit more expensive, so I was hoping that it wouldn't be see-through, but I don't... I don't know, can you see that? It is just this square neckline bodysuit. Again, it's a thong bodysuit, so again, I prefer that, but you guys might not. It's relatively low at the back as well. It's a little bit lower than the front. I don't, I'm holding that in a really weird... I look like I'm trying to be a sloth or something, I don't know. This is a really soft material though, so I'm hoping this will be really, really nice on with that skirt. But let's try it on and see. So this is what the skirt looks like with the next top on. Now, obviously this one is a bodysuit. I will say to you that this isn't the most comfortable bodysuit. Again, it's kind of got that problem like the first one where the clasp is kind of plasticky, so it's not the most comfortable. And it also has the same problem again where it keeps actually kind of riding down a bit so i have to keep lifting it up because of my bra being shown otherwise so if you have a smaller torso than me i would probably recommend sizing up with this bodysuit because otherwise it's just going to keep coming down i just think this is really really flattering but bearing in mind the fact that the clasp isn't really all that comfortable and the fact that it keeps kind of riding down i would have to give this maybe like a 7 out of 10 because it is really pretty it's just you know for those practical reasons i can't mark it any higher but i do really like this so like i said earlier on in this haul with that pink jumper i also bought a white jumper and that's to go with this skirt because let's be honest it's freezing outside at the moment so i thought i might not want to just be wearing like this racer neck top or you know this square neckline with no sleeves so i also picked up a white jumper this one i actually picked up in a size small because i didn't want it to be so oversized since i'm going to be wearing a skirt with it maybe i could kind of tuck this up into the bra or something or tuck it into my skirt so you can you know give it a little bit more shape again it's really really soft really cozy and i'll try it on with that skirt so you can see how i'll style it with that this is what the outfit looks like with the oversized white jumper on now again it's really really soft really really comfy but because this one is a size small rather than a size medium the arms are a little bit shorter than the other one but to be honest that's perfect for what i wanted this for now i wouldn't necessarily style it like this where it's under under tucked no over tucked over tucked you know what I mean, tucked outside of the skirt. Um, also, you can actually tuck it into the skirt if you want to, make it kind of look like that preppy sort of look. I think it's really, really cute. I think tucking it underneath the bra actually makes it look a little bit more flattering. You kind of show that little bit of skin off and, you know, it shows your figure a little bit when you're stretching or doing whatever. Yeah, I just really, really like this top. I loved this outfit together, especially since it was actually quite cold on my birthday itself. So this was perfect to tuck on over the top of that bodysuit. I just I just really like this outfit all together to be honest and again this top is a 10 out of 10 for me really soft really cozy exactly what I wanted all right my lovelies we are almost there you're pushing through well done if you stayed this long we've got two more items left they're both pajamas so let's go this first set I picked up purely for my birthday because I don't know about you, but I just love getting new pyjamas. So I was like, I'm going to get myself some new pyjamas to wear on the night before my birthday, which is actually tonight. So I'm very excited to actually finally put these on. And that is this long sleeve brown and white tie dye set. So this is the top half and there are some shorts to match with it when I can actually get my hands on them and that is these here now i don't think that this pajama set is actually in stock anymore because it went out of stock so so quickly however they do have a longer version so i think there's like a crop top of it and long length trousers instead which i imagine would be in the same material and they look the exact same sort of design as well so i thought i would just pop this in here just in case you guys were thinking about buying those ones instead again these don't have like that tie that you can use but they're so elasticated that i think you'll be okay the top half on this is so cute like the the arms are actually more of a like flare type design which i quite like the material on this is really really soft so i'm excited to try these ones on so this is what it looks like with the pajamas on now i absolutely love these pajamas they're really really comfortable they might be thin material but they're actually really really soft i 
honestly i think i would wear this jumper as like a normal jumper out as well like i wouldn't just wear this as pajamas i really really love the pattern on this and again i'm loving that kind of brown vibe at the moment hence why i got the ones that are white and brown i just think it's really really pretty and i'm not normally a massive fan of shorts however these ones are actually quite flattering like they kind of go out here again really really comfortable as pajamas like they've got a lot of stretch to them which is perfect for me i really really like that yeah, not gonna lie, I, I really love these pyjamas. I would give, I've, I've given a lot of things a 10 out of 10 in this haul, but I just like a lot of the things that I bought, which is pretty good because I've actually kept these past the time that I should have returned them by. So I'm glad that I like a lot of these things because it makes it worth it. <laughs> the thing I love about most of them is these sleeves. So yeah, I don't really wanna mark everything a 10 out of 10, but these deserve a 10 out of 10, so. There we go. <laughs> so lastly, I picked up this, I think it's called a romper. So it's black satin romper. Um, I hope it's a romper because otherwise I'm gonna be speaking all the way through this and then it's gonna be really, really awkward when I find out that that's not what it's called. But it's this really cute little pajama set and it's basically kind of like a play suit, pretty much. And this just felt really luxurious, really, really sweet. So there's a load of different colors in this one actually, but I opted for the black and white version. It has these little white line details at the bottom and on the sleeves and on the pocket, etc., which I think makes it look really, really luxury and a lot more expensive than it actually was there is a bow in the center like you can see but you can't actually do anything with it it doesn't make it any tighter or any looser but the middle section is elasticated i will say to you though the only thing that's a little bit impractical about this is if you need to pee during the night and then you've got to do that horrible to the toilet and then take everything off so yeah that's the downside to it however it looks really really pretty on so i'll show you how it looks all right my lovely so this is what it looks like with this romper type pajama set on now i just think this is really cute with it being silky these pajamas are actually really really comfortable the only thing i have to say which i think i said in the like showing clip bit is that if you were to get up on the toilet in the middle of the night or something it would just be a bit of a nightmare wouldn't it like taking all of this off but you know it's kind of worth it i did go for a size 10 and it is actually quite like baggy on the top which is perfect it makes it really really comfortable and really really comfy on the bottoms as well like it's not like clinging to my thighs or anything which often i do find a problem with shorts so i'm very glad that that isn't a problem with this it does cinch you in in the waist however like the elastic is so stretchy that like you could eat as much takeaway food as you want and you'd still be okay i just think that this little outfit is really really cute really really cute like girls night in or something like that or even if you want to you know look a little bit more special for your loved one or something this would be pretty perfect too i just think it's really really cute really nice this pocket here you can actually put stuff in if you wanted to like i personally wouldn't but you know just so you know it is there for practical use as well so purely for the fact that it's not all that practical to go and pee in i would give this like an mm, i would have to give this like a nine out of ten Oh, all right, my loves, we made it to the end. Well done, and thank you so much if you did stay till the end. I really, really appreciate it. Let me know down below what your favourite item was, because honestly, there was so much in this haul that I, I don't think I could pick one. If you did enjoy this video, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. It really mean a lot to me. I hope there was something in this haul that you guys liked. There's a lot to choose from, so thank you so much again for watching, and hopefully I will see you the next time. Bye!